there was a woman, an elderly woman, who survived. Her husband didn't. He was dead within, I don't know, a week or two of the shot. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Uh, she had a reaction, and I wasn't even expecting her to tell me what the... I didn't know she was going to be saying what happened like this. And so she's talking about these demonic entities that were, like, coming at her. It started 15 minutes after the and lasted a couple of days. And I talked to um, her daughter and said, like, has your mom ever been diagnosed with, like, any mental diseases, schizophrenia, anything like that? She goes, no, my mom's perfectly healthy. She's never had any of these issues. Um, she's telling the truth, and I was there while she was acting crazy so she recovered now she's telling me about these entities that she saw but and if that evil servant shall say in his heart my lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken the lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, saith the Lord. I will not pity, nor spare, nor have mercy, but destroy them. Hear ye, and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord hath spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God before he cause darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death, and make it gross darkness. And more and more videos around the world are coming out of people looking over the right shoulder, freaking out. You'll notice in a couple of the ones I show you, their eye does exactly what Katy Perry's eye did, where one eye goes screwed up, or actually goes off to the right just before they start circling and swatting at things and fighting things in the air. Yet I had planted thee, a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? For though thou wash thee with nitre and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord God. How canst thou say, I am not polluted, I have not gone after Balaam? So we got the, the shot on April the 8th, I think it was, and, uh, and then the trouble began. He answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Okay, what was the trouble? Well, um, he didn't have as much of a symptom as I did. I, in that, probably the same afternoon, I started to get so, so dizzy and sickly sickly feeling but the dizziness and the and uh, which we say your your brain seems to get uh, into a, a desert place and uh, and that was so discombobulating that i i fell and and broke my my hip uh, my my leg up, up at the hip there oh. uh, then of course i went to the hospital and, and but by this time i had started being hallucinogenic i guess because i've 
I couldn't get out of this um, terrible space that my brain was in that I was in, 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 a, in a bad uh, nightmare. Uh, visually, I just kept seeing bad, a bad black smoky thing and snakes and, and, and it looks like devilly creatures. They seem to be very evil. There seemed to be an evil component because these little things that were coming in, in my vision were, um, all, they looked like undersea creatures, but they had a devilish look. And also in, in the mix, there was many, many snakes. And, and I got quite disgusted and feeling bad about that. The other thing that was really awful was this, this terrible smell. Now this wasn't just like a visual image. I felt I was right in this cave or smoky place. The, the smell was so awful and I was really scared. Uh, I couldn't stop trembling and being scared. And um, my daughter, uh, I had her on the, on the phone because I wasn't feeling well. And she said I was stammering and I couldn't seem to speak. My, my head was just completely in an upset state. So after uh, the doctor, of course, I had to go to the hospital with my broken hip leg and, and it was broken right up near the hip there. Anyway, uh, in the hospital, this continued on and on and, and it was a better part of a week. And I was still feeling trembling and scared and I couldn't really talk and, and I couldn't see well. But the, the main thing was this terrible psychological fear that I had. It was the nearest thing I ever came and I could ever imagine to becoming suicidal because it seemed like a thing I couldn't get out of it. Ever imagine to becoming suicidal because it seemed like a thing I couldn't get out of it. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And, and in it and it was just so awful that one one evening in the hospital, one of the nurses, she sat and, and prayed with me because I said, I'm so scared. I don't know how I can go on. And, and she was very good. And um, I was blessing her. It seemed a little bit of a help. And then gradually after a couple more days, it, it, it wore off a little bit. But the memory of it just even makes me ba feel bad now because it was a, a terror, a terror moment. and. Uh, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And and the feeling that you you just can't you're just helpless. It was I don't know what what drug trips are like or like anything like that, but it was the worst sensation. But it was not just visual. The thing that was so physical with me too, and I can't ever forget the bad smell that went with it. And, and, uh, and I don't remember sound so much, but it's just the fact that my whole body seemed to be cooked. Cooked. They talk about that in the Bible too, at end times. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand? 